In the U.S., coaster brakes have long been the norm for kids' bikes, not to mention the law. Conventional wisdom has claimed that young kids don't have the coordination required for handbrakes, and moreover, that they are downright dangerous. Over the last few years, this mindset has begun to change. Parents have realized that coaster brakes can hinder learning, cause dangerous skidding, and add weight to already heavy kids' bikes. Manufacturers of higher-end kids' bikes have also started offering modification kits to allow parents to remove coaster brakes. This video is a comprehensive overview of the pros and cons of both coaster brakes and handbrakes, so whatever setup you choose, you can make an informed choice. Any conversation about the coaster brake versus handbrake debate has to start with an overview of the law. U.S. regulations require manufacturers to outfit all sidewalk bikes with wheels size 20 inch or less with a foot brake, aka a coaster brake. Fortunately, this law applies only to manufacturers and distributors, so if you as parents choose to modify the bike, there's no problem with that. Many bike companies have been skirting this law by selling aftermarket conversion kits that allow you to replace the coaster with a freewheel. A coaster brake, or foot brake, allows a child to stop by pedaling backwards. This is unlike a regular freewheel, which allows the cyclist to backpedal freely. The primary rationale for including a coaster brake on a kid's bike is that it requires relatively little coordination to operate it. This is not the case for a handbrake, which absolutely requires some skill and coaching to use properly. The initial downside of a coaster brake comes with teaching a child to ride a bike. Kids naturally pedal backward as well as forward. With a coaster brake, they come to an immediate stop when backpedaling. This can be both dangerous and frustrating for a brand new rider. Once a child is pedaling figured out, they may very well be just fine riding with a coaster brake on a sidewalk. Assuming that all kids on small bikes are just riding on the sidewalk, however, is a mistake. Many parents are looking for bikes that are suitable for riding on single track or at the bike park. A coaster brake becomes increasingly challenging on hills and off-road. Coaster brakes are either off or on. There is no modulation. This causes skidding and potential crashes, particularly when riding on dirt or large hills. On a mountain bike trail or at a skills park, challenges such as rocks often require the rider to backpedal, something that you can't do with a coaster. Finally, coaster brakes are pretty heavy. They can add significant weight to a child's bike. When you consider that a kid's bike is already close to half of their body weight, any place where you can save weight is worth considering. A bike outfitted with handbrakes rather than a coaster can save a couple pounds. Handbrakes consist of brake levers on both the right and left handlebars and generally control calipers on both the front and rear wheels. On larger and higher end kids' mountain bikes, the hand levers might actually control calipers that apply to disc rotors instead of calipers and pads on the rims. The biggest problem with handbrakes is that they can be difficult for kids to use. Most brake levers are simply too large and too difficult for little hands to control. Fortunately, more and more kids' bikes are being outfitted with child-specific easy-to-pull and easy-to-reach levers. If you're going to put your child on a bike with only handbrakes and no coaster, make sure the levers are top-notch. Many critics of handbrakes argue that your kids aren't coordinated enough to use handbrakes. I don't buy this argument. If given kid-appropriate levers, kids as young as two and a half can learn to use a handbrake. I always encourage parents to start their child riding on a balance bike with a handbrake first. This allows them to learn to operate a handbrake at an early age and promotes an easy transition to a pedal bike with handbrakes. The biggest concern for handbrakes is that the child grabs a big handful of brake and goes over the handlebars. This is a very real concern and means that if you put your child on a bike with handbrakes, you need to spend time building their skills. The bottom line? There's no wrong option when choosing a bike with a coaster brake versus a handbrake. My advice would be either choose a bike with options so that your child gets practice with a handbrake or for families that do a lot of cycling or have a child interested in mountain biking or BMX, go for the handbrake only option. If you do choose to buy your child a bike with the only handbrake, make sure that the levers are both easy to reach and easy to pull. Also make sure that they're given proper coaching and instruction on how to use them. This option is best for kids who started riding on a balance bike and are already comfortable with handbrakes. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. See you next time.